Welcome back, everyone. I'm JTXRP, and I've got William Hughes with me with Zoge. And I know that you've been waiting for this video, and I do apologize, uh, but thank you for your patience. This is the video about how to mine XRP, and you can use on. Uh, we're going to be using Unminable, and you can use it for uh, to mine several different things. And if you want to interested in some strategies for Unminable, you can go to our other video we're going to have up between uh, me and William here, and check that out. Uh, you can even figure out how. Uh, so, or William goes into how he made $4,000 in one month uh, using Unminable. So you can look for those strategies in that video. But this is simply how to get started with Unminable and get started with it. So you, before we get started today, you will need Notepad++, which you're, we're going to download and show you here on the video. You're going to need Unminable.com and you're going to need a wallet address. And this is my test wallet address that I have uh, for the sake of this test and other tests I do on the XRPL. So uh, without further ado, let's get started here. William, thank you so much for joining us again today. Um, thank you for having me. Always awesome to be on. So yeah. I'm ready to roll when you are. Yeah. So first we need to download Notepad++, right? Yeah, we're okay. going to need that. It's, so not, just... it's not mandatory, just so everyone knows, but it does make viewing code, uh, any type of code, a lot, lot easier. Gotcha. And so if you're following along this tutorial, I just want to give everything possible. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, go to downloads here after searching it. And uh, which one do I choose, William? Uh, uh, usually you just want the newest release. So up at the top there. Okay. Yep. And they always have some kind of cool little tag to go with it, but it's just the version that you're really okay. looking for. So we're going to click the huge download button. We're going to open the installer down here on the lower left. We're going to hit yes. Uh, yes, English is what I want. Next, I agree. And then I'm going to hit next again, next again. I'll create a short shortcut on the desktop just for I know where it's at. We're going to hit finish. I know I went pretty fast there, but you can rewind me if you would like to uh, know more. Uh, but then we get Notepad++ up here, and we're just going to hit the close button, and we're going to start off with something new there. Uh, so now we have Notepad++. William, what's next? So now that we have that done, we just need to hit unminable.com. Okay, I have it here up on the tab. Right. And then we need to get into the download section where they will allow you to download miners. So we're going to search here. We're not going to go to the download section. Okay, so XRP. Yeah. It, it's in the download section, but you have to... Um, get to a token first. Gotcha. Okay, so um, you can use any of the miners. They're all relatively similar. I use LOL miner myself. So I just figure we can go with LOL miner and click that and we'll go into the download part. Okay. And then you want the Windows version of it, but I believe you have to go into the LOL miner GitHub. And we need to click on the top link. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I'm gonna click on the top link. Yep. And we're just gonna scroll down. We're looking for Windows file. There's none here and it's under assets. So we're gonna keep scrolling and scroll back up. Scroll back up. Yeah, you, you missed one of them, right? Oh, that's 147. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, it just, good. it did screen flicker for me. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to scroll down. We're at 1.46a, and I see Windows here, 64. So download that. Um, yeah, so it, it Windows there and Chrome have decided, go um, just hit the down arrow or learn more. There we go, learn more. Yep, and then you're going to have to just tell it... Um, that that's going to be okay. Okay, they, they're, gonna not gonna, they're not going to they're not going to link you there. So go in the top right, the three dots. Click that. There should be downloads in there. Something along those lines. Yeah, right there. I think it's under my my image there, so I can't really tell. Yeah, keep anyway. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Hit show in folder. Yep. And then just extract that whole folder out to your C drive or your desktop, whatever you would like. I'm just going to control C it and hit control V on the desktop. 
And it's transferring there. <laughs> you can do it. There we go. Okay, awesome. So now we're looking at this. Those are all Windows batch files. That's great. Those are where we're going to input our data, which will be pushed over to the LOL miner, which is the executable in there. It's called an application, but its file extension is .exe. So first, what we want to do is copy any one of those. Um, I would recommend F and just, yeah, get a copy of that and then paste it, rename it to mine XRP. And then send a shortcut to desktop. Yeah, oh, I hit. Um, yeah, don't run that. Create desktop <laughs> shortcut. Send to. Scroll down a little. There we go. Desktop, create shortcut. Very good. Okay. okay, and then don't mess with the shortcut yet. You okay, don't mess that. with okay. Yeah, because that's not going to be editable. Um, so right-click on that and then open, open with Notepad or edit with Notepad right there. Perfect. All right, so there's where the stuff is. And then all we have to do is change a few things in here to get it working. So let's just look at this real quick. The top part is all just... Um, locating and stuff like that the very top there is important though so we're going to need to change the pool and we're going to need to change the wallet address and possible oh, pool the stuff too. okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we're going to be changing all of that and let me just look at some more of this um yeah go back to unminable.com so alt tab for those who are watching Unmineable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're supposed to be on XRP. So that that's the string that we need right there, which would be, yeah. Yeah, we I'm need that control one. Control C to copy that. Yeah, Control C and then drop that into what the pool is. There's two pools set. Do I need to replace both or just one? I would replace both, but I would do it in a little different way. So paste that one there. And then um, just move that off to the right just a little bit so that you can see the website again. Unminable.com. There we go. Perfect. So the exact same address with a port of 13333. So on your second line there, which is line 10 in Notepad++, add a 1 to the beginning of that port designation. I'm sorry. You. What are we looking at? Oh, here, alternative port. Correct. Yeah. So what okay. we're going to do is just add a one to right there. Perfect. Okay. Right there. Yep. Oh, it didn't go. Numlock, there. guys. Make sure you got numlock on <laughs> or off. <laughs> okay. So one. what, yeah, what uh, Unminable right there is saying is they have a server up for that pooled mining at 3333 but also at the same address on port 13333 as well. So those two port settings are primary and backup, right? Okay. So yeah, if it can't reach the first one, it will attempt the second one, which is on another port at that address. Gotcha. So now we need to get rid of that F wallet address and put in your XRP wallet address. And how you want to do that is start with the zero on there and then I'm just gonna copy this real quick. Make sure to get that end R. Yes. All right, thank you. You're gonna, you're gonna want that critter in there. <laughs> yeah. Don't, somebody else ain't getting my XRP guys. All right. So where am I pasting this? So you want to start with the zero and end with the F right before the period and then just hit paste. That will replace the F address with Ooh. whoa okay. I'll paste it twice. There we go. And so then, this is my wallet address for the, the test address. Right. And then dot whatever you want. I usually just number my miners. So one, two, three, four, five. And I remember that. But no, I mean like computer one, computer two. You see what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm saying I would just put a, the number one right there. And then if I put oh. up a second computer that I was All mining right. with, I would put a number two in that one. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. 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 One. I can remember one a lot better than one, two, three, four, five. 
hopefully. Yes. Um, so, okay, so I don't think we need any extra parameters or anything. So what we can do at this point is just save that file. And then okay. we control S or that. Save button yep. right here. Okay. And then you don't have to close it. You can minimize it. Um, okay. Yeah. And then we can test run that and see what happens. So I just, just double click this uh, shortcut. Right. And I think Windows is going to give us a grief. We'll work around that. And then, okay, it didn't give us any grief. No user account or wallet to mine on configured. Okay. So apparently it didn't like the configurations. Um, let's so we're getting this error right here. And that's correct. how you know. Yep. Um, close that one. Which did you use? Did you use the desktop shortcut or did you use the... I used the desktop the... shortcut. Okay. So first let's test to see if that was the issue by using the one that's in the folder. Okay. So it doesn't like that configuration. Something is not right. Um, let's just work through this. So the wallet and then... Maybe I did something with the dot here. Uh, let's look at unminable.com real quick and see what um, what suffixes they allow. So yeah, more than likely the login server is blocking us. So scroll down a little bit on, on, on unminable.com. There we okay. go. Okay, and then don't mouse over that. We don't want pop-ups blocking it. That's the issue right there. So. Um, XRP address, it can't uh, can't be like that. So wallet equals XRP and then the semicolon and put XRP in caps. Won't let me. Um, everything will let you put it put things in caps. There we go. And then, yeah, um, yeah, perfect. And then backspace that one. And then control save and then minimize that and try to run it again. And we'll see if it realizes what we're trying to do or if we still have a, a problem with it. Okay, no user account or wallet to mine on configured. Okay. Yep, close that. And we will continue to troubleshoot this until we get it right. Um, okay, so XRP and then that and then that. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me just double check this real quick. Oh, it's to see if it was in the original. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that was uh where's the it it's right by where you have flux highlighted. Just go up. Yeah, so at some point you deleted it. Okay. It happens. It's okay. It's it's an excellent learning experience for people. We uh we got to see some troubleshooting go down on uh problems. No no space. Space. Sorry, I like I like formatting artist. Um <laughs> it's gotta be perfect. You can't put pool a second time. You have to put pool two. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> yes, I believe so. But in, in I'm not positive because you closed the other one, but we'll give okay. it a shot and see if um if it takes with that config and starts the miner. Okay. Yeah, we'll get there. It sometimes this stuff does not work straight out of the gateway or gateway. You may mess up some of your configuration. So just knowing some of the tricks that we've already messed with here to troubleshoot this out is helpful. Yep. I'd be completely lost without you. So, um, do, 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 do. okay, so I hit save. Now I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to double click mine XRP. Right. Okay. We have liftoff. Yes. Very cool. And now it is starting to do the mining. And then when you get payouts, it's going to um, start sending it. It's building your DAG right now, which is like it's using up your video card's memory to like like 
store a bunch of data from the blockchain in it, right? So it can mine efficiently. So the next step that you want to do is uh, copy your address, your XRP address, and then go back to unminable.com. And people who are listening to the video, you're going to have to give this a little bit of time. And then um, you'll do this. Absolutely, you want to do it. So get your address and then go to the unminables like main main part. Just click um, the green text. There you go. And then you should be able to, oh, go to addresses now, which is on the left side. Yeah, perfect. And then as soon as unminable sees that your address is mining and you start to build a little bit of like, uh, see, so um you haven't gotten any rewards yet. Oh, but... come on, man. We just started. I need like 30 XRP for like signing up. <laughs> It'll take a little while, but um, check this like within an hour just to be sure that something's happening. Okay. And then um, if, if you're mining for hours or days and it still says zero XRP, it shouldn't. Something's wrong. You might have the wrong address in there or something, but you want to fix it so that you're not working for nothing. Got it. I'm pretty sure we set it up correctly because um, we got this far. Uh, but yep, I'll. Uh, I guess I'll make. I'll wait and I'll uh, come back to this video. Uh, so it'll be like seconds for you. So you can see here now that I'm mining XRP. And so me and William were comparing machines. Turns out mine is a little bit uh, slower. <laughs> In fact, it's like four times slower. So I'm going to have to really figure some stuff out here in terms of how much XRP I'm going to mine or how much, yeah, that I'm going to get from it. So we'll see. We might do a day. We might do a month and see how many we get uh, from this. And I can then put my specs out, have you guys compare and so forth. Uh, but yeah, we're, 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 we're up. We're, we're going. And so uh, I may uh, do another video with William about other strategies. Uh, so be ready for that. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing if I decide to do something different. Thank you again, William. We can see that we're getting uh, XRP now. <laughs> but I really appreciate your time. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And go check out Zoj. And uh, maybe you can use some of the XRP you're buying to... Uh, or your, your mining, should I say, to, to go and uh, get some Zoge. Right. Yeah. Hey, thanks for having me. Sorry it didn't go as smoothly as we had hoped. Obviously, they've been changing a lot of things, but with a little bit of work, you can get through it. If you want to check out Zoge, we are at zogehome.com or on Twitter at Classy Zoge. And uh, yeah, we're, we'd be happy to have you. Yep. All the links will be in the description for everything we covered in this video. Uh, but make sure to like, share, and subscribe, guys. I'm JTXRP. This is William Hughes, and we're out.